YouTube, it's time for a products I used up video. Who doesn't love these videos because, let's be honest, this shows you what I've actually been using and what I've used up. So this video is pretty self-explanatory, so let's jump into it. First and foremost, I used up one of my Physician Formula Argan Oil Argan Wear Oils. This is a really, really thick oil. I prefer lighter oils, but this is $14 from the drugstore as opposed to, I love my Jersey Marin Light Argan Oil, which is so expensive, but my super dry skin calls for oil, so I'm hoping I can kind of like knock back on the oils for the summertime since it's hot, I get sweaty. So I'm hoping I don't have to use this as much because I do like it, but it's just definitely like not my favorite oil. I mean, I just love the Jersey Marin one so much, but this is a good alternative to that. Not to that, but for an oil at the drugstore. This is in a favorites video. I got it in my birch box. It's the Beauty Protector Protectant and Diangle Leave-In Conditioner. And if they made a perfume that smells like this stuff, I would buy it. It smells oh, so sweet. I loved spraying this in my hair. I would literally curl my hair just so I could spray this in it and smell it for a couple days. This was an awesome heat protectant. I know it's kind of like small, so you're like, Meg, really? But... I kind of want to buy the full size, like this is an amazing product, I put it in a favorites video, need. Two different dry shampoos got used, um, the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Cool and Crisp, this made my scalp feel like I had air conditioning just blowing on my head. It was actually pretty amazing, I really really like this, but I used it up so fast, I feel like I used this like eight or nine times and it was gone. So now I have my Batiste back there. That's like the coconutty one, but this one is meant to make your it's cool, crisp, and fresh. Definitely made my scalp feel cool, crisp, and fresh. Loved it. Then I used the Suave Dry Shampoo Spray because this is so cheap. This is a good, cheap alternative. It smells good, but I do feel like this my hair still kind of feels dirty after. Like when I used this, I wanted to be like, I still want to wash my hair. Whereas when I used this, it was like, okay, I don't need to wash my hair. So I don't really know how I feel about this. It's good for being how cheap it was, but at the same time, didn't alleviate my gross feeling of grossness. On the oil train, I used up this Jersey Marin Light Argan Oil Sample. This is how I fell in love. I got this in an Ipsy. It's getting oil everywhere, so I'm gonna put it down. This is amazing. I bought more based off of just this little guy, but he's all used up now and it's really sad because this is amazing stuff. I used up my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the lightest color, 113 Fair. You're like, Meg, it looks like there's a lot of product in there, but like, it it was not coming out on here and I can't get it off the edge. It's it's done, it's over, it's worn off. It It's dead, it's had its death. But it's a nice light concealer, but not my favorite, but it's used up. Next is the Promise Organic Ultra Moisturizing Argan Cream Facial Lotion with Argan Oil. This is a facial moisturizer. I took it on my trip. It smells like grapefruits. It smells really good. However, I think this really broke me out um, with pimples under my skin on my chin. It was really, really bad on our trip. So I think this is what did it. Not my fave. I try so hard to branch out and try different foundations. However, I've used up to my holy grail foundations, the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Atlas Stay Fabulous Foundation. I've used up two. This one doesn't look used up, but it's just because it's all around the edges. There's, there's just nothing. There's nothing coming. This is just such an amazing full coverage without feeling cakey. Makes my skin look perfect foundation. I always like, I'm pretty sure I have three more on hand in my drawer right now, but I used up two of these because if I'm in a rush, I'll just go to this. If I have a really important event, just go to this. This holds up for me so well. It lasts forever. It's an amazing finish. I really love it. So that's why I've used up two of these suckers. Another foundation I've used up is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. Um, this was an okay foundation. I did really like the finish of it. It wasn't my absolute favorite. I don't know if anything's gonna come out, yeah. I've actually had this for like a while and have slowly used it up over that time. It wasn't like a, I got it and needed to use it all the way up. It just finally kicked the bucket for me after having it for 
I don't even want to reveal how long, but uh, but it's dead. We did it. I've used up the Super Sizer by CoverGirl. This is an amazing drugstore um, mascara. It reminds me of my... The wand's completely different, but it gives me the same effect that my Better Than Sex mascara gives me. I love Better Than Sex. It's such a good mascara. This, I have a... I have to be really picky with my mascaras because I get it all under here and I put it eyelid so I get it all up above. This does not do that to me. I do not look like a raccoon when I'm done using this. This is an amazing, affordable, great mascara, especially because I'm really picky about my mascaras. I want length, volume, I want that va va boom factor, and this gives it to me. I've used up my Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin. I have dry parched skin, so this went fast. Yeah, this was great. I used it all over, to be honest. You can use it on your face, so I do. It says, apply as needed from head to toe throughout the day. I used it as a facial moisturizer. I liked it. I mean, it wasn't my absolute favorite, but it was good. Um, definitely. But I definitely am enjoying my Clinique one a lot better. Next is this Physician's Formula Ultra Black Eyeliner. It's just like their normal boring eyeliner. It looks like that. It has a super thick tip. This is actually pretty great, and it lasted me a really long time. Um, I really did like it. And it's like on the cheaper side of Physicians Formula. This is like $6.99. Their other one that comes, the eye booster one that everyone loves with the brush tip is like $12.99, which is ridiculous. This is $6.99 and it's awesome. So I used up the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. Why did I use this up? Not because I loved it. To be honest, it smelled like a pool. I really don't think it did anything, but I guess it was just a placebo effect. It was at like arm's reach for me. I don't have that many primers. So it just kind of went because it was there and I had it and I really didn't have anything to replace it with or use in its place. So every time I went to do my makeup, I'd be like, all right, I'll use the wet and wild one. But it smells like a blow up pool or like a tube. I just can't get past that. It smells like that latexy, pooly smell. But I really don't think this did anything for me. It didn't really even out anything for me. It was just kind of there. I know. Does that make sense? No. I just pulled it out of my thing. I was like, all right, I'll use it today. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, until I used it up. I used up a ton of shampoo and conditioners, but to be honest, I just kept throwing them away because they just get in my way when I have them. So they all got thrown out. But in terms of my makeup products and face products that I have in here at my vanity, those are the products I used up. Um, so you guys can see what I've been using on the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope you guys have an awesome night, week, everything, awesome life. Just have a freaking awesome life, okay? Let's be real. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!